Rather than upholding the deposit of faith that leads to salvation, the U.S. bishops are partnering with a dissident group of priests and laity. In tonight's in-depth report, Church Milton's Paul Morano calls on the Lepanto Institute to get to the bottom of this apparent scandal. How do we lay down our privilege? Um, I think the first thing is we have to know that we have it. The Association of U.S. Catholic Priests, or AUSCP, is an 11-year-old group of nominal Catholics supporting priests in their futile attempts to change essential church teaching. The U.S. bishops now seem to be collaborating with this group, which is known for supporting homosexuality and women priests, among other heresies. Michael Hitchborn of the Lepanto Institute spoke with church militants about AUSCP's dissent and the bishops' lack of condemnation. Uh, it just has to do with the un, uh, unfettered free range of dissidents within the church. The AUSCP is the logical extension of the Call to Action Conference of 1976, which is why it's so important for them to formally condemn the organization now. Hitchborn is following the group's current push for priestless parishes, which may have a very specific end goal. The AUSCP's concept of a priestless parish has to do with uh, the priest shortage. And what they want to do is suggest that a pastoral leader who is a lay man or woman could take over a parish, uh, taking on the pastoral responsibilities while a priest would travel from parish to parish, providing the sacraments maybe once a month or so. Uh, and ultimately, what this idea would do is lead to the idea of uh, women deacons, because the women could possibly be leading parishes in, um, in worship services. Uh, and that, of course, is a stepping stone towards women priests, and they even say so in their literature. The U.S. Bishop's Office for Ecclesial Certification even paid for a booth and served as a vendor at this year's AUSCP conference, June 20th to the 23rd. It is this particular office that would certify those pastoral leaders. So the natural relationship between the AUSCP and the USCCB through this particular office is incredibly significant. Faithful Catholics feel powerless. What can they do about a lack of faith among the clergy leading souls astray? It's important at this point for Catholic faithful to contact their bishops and demand an investigation into the relationship between the USCCB and the AUSCP. The darkness of the world has infiltrated the church, but it cannot overcome the light of Christ spread through baptized, confirmed, and faithful laity. We live in an era when Christ is counting on the laity, perhaps more than ever. What would happen Paul Morano, Church Militant Evening what News, Detroit. Uh, Clerics participating at the Anti-Catholic Conference last month include Bishop John Stowe of Lexington, Father Dan Horan, Director of the Center for Spirituality at Notre Dame, Ghanaian Cardinal Peter Turkson, and Father Scott Deach of the Erie Diocese.